All right, so I got my Clover set up. We have our receipt printer that comes with it, standard that's for your cashiers and everybody up front. And then I set up a kitchen printer to show how the receipts fire back to the kitchen once you set everything up and adjacent to how your menu is going to work for you. So what I was explaining uh, via email trying to communicate was because of how you're operating and the way you want to do business in a full service dining establishment, you're going to want to use what's called the Tables app. The Tables app is designed for merchants who want to be able to have their waitresses and waiters go to the table, take an order, and place it to the kitchen. So in this instance here, I've already kind of mocked up some tables, 101, 102, 103, nothing fancy, just kind of built something as a layout. You can custom create yours and label them and put seats however you want to do it. But for instance here, I'm going to go to table 101, a four top just sat down. It gives me the number of guests I have. And here's where I can go ahead and add items. I want You can do the whole table or the four guests, whatever you want to do. So for instance here, let's go ahead and add to the whole table a pizza, call it like an appetizer. 16-inch uh, pizza, we'll do half chicken, half bacon, done. And then at this point, this is what's ringing on the table, and they want it as an appetizer, so we'll go ahead and just fire that to the kitchen and get that going. So over here on the kitchen cutter, you can see 16-inch pizza, half chicken, half bacon of the modifiers on the right there in the red, that fired to the kitchen. So now if we go back up to the screen, you can see here where, where it says that it was printed in red down there. That's just letting your server know it went back to the kitchen. So for instance here, server's done, they close out. Now they go back to the table, have the conversation, the, the guests are ready to order. So they're gonna pick the table back up, go back into their guests, and here's where you'll add your guest items. So let's say seat one just wants a house salad, a large one with thousand dollar dressing, done. And then now seat two, they want, let's do a calzone, stromboli, um, you know, extra. And now we need to send these two items to the kitchen. We're going to fire over here at the kitchen printer. So you're back at the house staff. They're going to receive this ticket here. And as you can see, house salad, large, thousand dollar dressing, stromboli, add extra meatballs. So it does not fire the whole ticket again, only what's been added to the check. So if we go back and look, you can see the whole table has a 16 inch pizza, house salad, guest two. Now let's say guest three straggles in late. Now they wanna order. Guest three wants to order a sub, uh, chicken parm, done. Fire that to the kitchen. Now, you can look here. Guest three, chicken parm, and that's what the cooks would get. They're not going to get the continual whole check over again where the confusion was in the beginning here. So at the end, your server comes up, hits pay, pulls it, and now it has everything broken down by guest, and you can print the guest check. You can bring them up cash or check. So let's say they just want to do cash, print the customer's receipt, and then you can see over here on the Clover printer, under the customer's receipt here, Everything is laid out for you by the table, guest one, guest two, guest three, subtotal tax, and so on. I hope this kind of explains everything and helps kind of sure up the firing of the order situation for you. I'll send this video over. If you have any more questions, please shoot me an email and let me know. Thanks.